What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds, where today I got some exciting news for you. We're not going to have a video at all. That's right. We're not going to do a video at all today. And do you know why we're not going to do a video today? We're not going to do a video because my $750 a month internet through AT&T doesn't work, which means this video is going to be crappy quality. It's going to have to be relatively short because I have to use my crappy cellular AT&T uh, network on my phone to upload this video, which means it can't be very big at all and it can't be in great quality because uh, then it just won't upload. So for those of you who don't know, uh, I live in the middle of nowhere, which is a great thing. It's also a horrible thing. We have no internet out here. The best you can get as a consumer is like five megabits uh, and that's like DSL, AT&T DSL. It's like five, 15 megabits down, five megabits up. Uh, I can't use that. That's unusable for, the, for as much video uh, files as I upload. It's impossible, it won't work. Um, so then the next step is satellite internet. Well, I've had satellite internet before and I've checked into it and uh, trust me, it won't work here either. They have data caps and I usually exceed them because I upload terabytes of video footage every single month. So. Uh, satellite doesn't work and the lag time on satellites uh, is no good for auctions because by the time you click the bid button on an auction and it gets to space and it gets back down to earth again and then comes back to space and makes it back to your computer again, uh, the auction's over. So <laughs> satellite doesn't work either, even though there is that one through uh, Elon Musk. But uh, fun fact, we don't have that available out here either. The only, and I have, believe me, I've researched every single internet provider, every one of them. The only available internet where I live is AT&T Fiber. That's it. Yes, there is OEC. Some of you Okies know who OEC is, but they are not here yet. They're about 10 miles down the road from me. So OEC is not an option either. Uh, I am stuck with AT&T Enterprise Business Dedicated redundant fiber internet, it's a mouthful, but I've got a hell of a setup in my house, boxes that take up a good section of a wall um, for this internet. I have a dedicated fiber optic line, and then I have another dedicated redundant fiber optic line that guarantees that if the first line dies, I have a backup line to keep my business internet running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I have a guarantee from AT&T that if I have an outage, I will have my internet back within one hour. Well, my internet died today during an auction. Uh, I didn't release this car to you guys. I didn't tell you I was bidding on it because it was another surprise. I was bidding on a 2008 Mercedes-Benz CLS 550. I was winning it. It was great. And my, uh, my internet died around 12.30 this afternoon. Suddenly, just died. I rushed to my phone, pulled out Copart, got on there, went to bid on it. Nah, the auction was long over. It was already gone. Um, so I lost out on a car today. This car right here, uh, doing some checking on it, doing some investigating on it. That's supposed to be the video that you're watching right now, but instead you're watching me sit here and complain about my AT&T internet. So that video doesn't exist because there's no internet. So, uh, I tried to call AT&T support. Now, you would think for, inter remember, enterprise. This isn't like, you know, home consumer grade. This is enterprise internet. Uh, you would think there'd be a 24-hour hotline that you could call when there's a problem. Somebody to get to you ASAP. Because, after all, enterprise is for big businesses that rely on having internet constantly. And if something goes wrong, it could cost them thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, I called the number, and they're closed. They're, they're closed. They are closed. They literally close at 5 p.m. The reason I didn't call them earlier is because I have a uh, person who I am supposed to talk to when I have a problem. Instead of calling, I just talk to this person through Messenger, and they can get in touch with the right people ASAP. Well, I messaged that person. They didn't get back to me until much later in the evening, and uh, they told me to call the number that they originally told me not to call. This isn't the first time this, hap this has happened. This happens pretty regularly around here. The internet just dies or it lags severely slow uh, to the point where it's pointless to have fiber optic when it acts like satellite internet half the time being so laggy. Uh, 
$750 a month is what I pay so that I can have 50 megabits up, 50 megabits down. That is symmetrical internet. <laughs> 50, five, zero, not 500, not gig, 50. And if you think that is insanely expensive, you're absolutely right. I have lived in many places in my day that cost the same or less than the internet bill here costs me every month. On top of that, when I signed up for this internet, I was told the internet bill was gonna be $500 a month. And I was hesitant to accept that on a two year contract, but I pulled the trigger because I wanted to live here and I wanted to build my business and my home here. And my first bill was 750. And then my second bill was 750. And my third, fourth, fifth, sixth bill has all been 750. Turns out the person that sold me the internet was mistaken on the price. It wasn't 500, it was 750. And they assured me it was their mistake. They were gonna take care of it. It never got taken care of. Neither has my internet outage that has left me sitting here complaining on a video to all of you fine people that for whatever reason are still watching. So this is my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, today was a hell of a day. The fact that I have no internet uh, is a big problem. It's a real big problem that's leaving me in a very serious situation. I can't make a video that's gonna produce good content, which means I'm not gonna make any money from today's video. Uh, that sucks. Not having internet is literally costing me money right now, but yet I'm still gonna get billed for the same internet that I don't have at this point. So big shout out and thank you to at and I have tried messaging them on um, uh, Twitter. I've tried messaging them on Instagram and uh, yeah, nobody's responding. So I'm left sitting here stuck. So I want to personally apologize to all of you right now for uh, number one, for making this video, but I don't know what to do. If you see over the course of this next week or so, that videos are kind of spotty or it's nothing but Copart walkarounds. this is why. I wanted to make sure that you had an explanation for what was going on. I haven't gone anywhere, everything is fine, except I don't have internet other than enough on my cell phone to upload this video, which I'm recording on my phone and I'll be uploading to YouTube on my phone. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Like I said, please, I don't need comments about satellite internet or Suddenlink or Elon Musk's uh, satellite internet or OEC fiber internet or Cox Communications or Xfinity, any of it, guys, they don't, it's not an option here. It's absolutely 100% not an option. I had somebody that actually went through every provider and limited it, they narrowed, sorry, limited, they narrowed it all down to uh, you have the choice between a few satellite providers, which is not an option for me, or uh, AT&T DSL, which isn't fast enough. I, it would take three days to upload one of my videos, or uh, the current situation I'm in now with AT&T Enterprise Fiber Optic, and it was sold to me as the best thing since sliced bread. I would be so happy with this internet, and it has turned out to be an absolute nightmare. So much so that it would force me to almost consider selling this house because without internet, without reliable internet, I can't operate this business. And that makes all of this absolutely useless. So thank you again, AT&T. I hope I can get a hold of you tomorrow and maybe we can get somebody out here to come fix my f internet. Stay safe out there, buddy. I look forward to seeing you whenever AT&T fixes the internet, hopefully very soon in the next one. Weird Beard's coming. Next video. We'll be looking at that. and We have a lift coming too, so. <laughs> See ya!